Good morning, children. Welcome all of you to English class today. Before starting our class, let's recite Brahmana. Close your eyes. Sit properly. From the beginning of this class, I would like to ask you some questions. You try to answer these questions. Which living things are huge in size at your surroundings? All around you, which things you see, they are bigger in size. living things yes the trees then the whales of the ocean you don't see it always then some natural things if i say name some natural things which are very big the mountain yes the majestic mountain then river which things are then which things are small inside at your surroundings be it living or non living yes non living things or living things the tiny small creatures insects ants firefly they are small in size dust sand they are small in size grass they are small in size cockroach grass over are small in size whereas the majestic animals fish like well they are bigger in size so everything that live in this world be it small or in large we in this world there are so many people live those who are rich very poor people having different profession live there there are some government officials there are some worker class the people are so people having some working class background they are in our society the daily labor the worker all live in this we have great diversity in the world many species of birds and animals different types of people live here so there is a class between the upper and the lower those who are bigger in size those who are very affluent those who are very rich they feel proud they have the nature of showing off they feel superior over others whereas the small not in the size the people those who are living with much difficulty like the poor people the beggar the daily worker they feel somewhat inferior compared to others but why god has created this diversity why god has created so much distinction separation why he has created the majestic himalayas the great well and why he has created the firefly why he has created such separation why the god is not impartial while 
He has created the universe. Question comes to our mind. But God is apt and appropriate in His creation. He has created the entire universe thoughtfully, judiciously. He has placed everyone in His creation. No one is bigger, no one is small. All need to run the wheel of the universe. We are going to read this in a poem whose name is Mountain and this Project. Let me write the talk. Let me recite the poem. You open your book, The Mountain and the Squirrel. The mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel. And the farmer called the latter little tree. Bond replied, You are doubtless very deep. But all sorts of weather must be taken in together to make of a year and a sphere. And I think it no disgrace to occupy my place. If I am not as large as you, you are not as small as I, and not half so small. I will not deny you make a very pretty squirrel cry. Challenge people, all is well and wisely put. If I cannot carry forests on my back, neither can you crack a knot. So, this poem is composed or written by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Who is the name of the poet? Keep the name in your mind. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Ralph Waldo Emerson. He is the poet of the mountain and the school. He was born in America. Where he was born, he was born in America. He was an essayist, a poet, a lecturer, Ralph Waldo Emerson. And he has composed this poem for you. Let's have an analysis of the poem. The mountain and the squirrel had a word. The mountain, who started to quarrel? The mountain once, the mountain and the squirrel, they fell out. They started quarreling. How did the quarrel start? And the farmer called the latter little prick. The farmer, I have written here, the mountain and the squirrel. The farmer who comes first, the latter who comes latter. After the first who comes, he is the latter. The mount, the farmer calls the latter little prick. Who starts? Who? First told to whom little tree? The farmer prefers to mountain. Mountain called the squirrel. What did he call the squirrel? He called the squirrel little tree. Tree means self-righteous, self-esteem, proud. What do you say? 
small tiny creature you seem to be very self esteem you you seem to be very self righteous mockingly so he made a satire when he calls the squirrel he told him you are a little prick you are very tiny small in size still you seem to be very self righteous then what did the born reply you see born replied you are doubtless very big but all sorts of weather must be taken in together to make up a sphere and a sphere to make up a year and a sphere but all sorts of weather you need to put all the seasons to make it year summer rainy autumn dew winter spring you need all the seasons to make a complete year all sorts of weather make up a year all sorts of weather must be taken together you need to take all these seasons to make a to make up a year you cannot omit one of them you cannot leave the summer the rain or the winter like that you need to take all the seasons to make up a year but all sorts of weather must be taken together to make up a year and a sphere sphere means the world similarly sphere sphere means we say this is the northern sphere and this is the southern sphere. so here sphere means the whole one you need to take everything be it is small or be it large so you need to take all the things irrespective of their color size shape to make full fledged universe who has created the universe the god the almighty he has created the universe and he has taken everything he has taken small be every creature to place in its place so everyone has a everyone has hold a place in the creation of god to make god has created god has taken everyone He has taken. God has taken this small creature, the tiny creature, the huge, enormous creature, to make the whole universe. And He has made it full fledged. And I think it no disgrace to occupy my place. Disgrace. disgrace means here disgrace means insult i don't feel it to be like a disgrace disgrace means here in this context particularly disgrace means insult or humiliate i don't feel that i don't feel insulted i don't feel humiliate who says the squirrel says and i think it no disgrace to occupy my place i am as i am very tiny small in size i hold uh, i occupy uh, at least very little space i occupy as i am very small i occupy a small place in the creation of the world i don't need so much of space to live in only i require at least to some space space i am very small i am very small so i need i need a little place 
to leave. But I don't feel insulted about it. You are the majestic mountain. You have a great enormous size. You are huge. You are, you are huge. You are much bigger than me. But I don't feel insulted. I don't feel humiliated. And I think it no disgrace to occupy my place. I confess. I admit. I am not as large as you. You are larger than me. I am not as large as you, and not half so spry. You are larger than me. But one thing that makes difference between you and me. that you are very big in size but you can move a little bit you are stationed you are fixed in a position so that you can't move i am very small but i remain always fragile i am very playful i play on you i move around you but you cannot move a bit you are fixed i am movable this is the difference let me tell you some questions to check how far you have understood in mountain and squirrel who started the quarrel fast yes the mountain started the quarrel fast who called whom to little freak the mountain called the squirrel little freak disgrace means what does disgrace means disgrace means insult i don't feel it disgrace who said this this squirrel said it spry what does spry mean spry means active spry means active let us do some comprehension question What is the poem about? What is the poem about the poem is about the mountain and squirrel. the mountain and squirrel the mountain and squirrel who had a quarrel mountain and the squirrel had a quarrel who does the farmer refer to who does the farmer refer to and the letter the farmer refers to the mountain and the letter refers to the refers to the squirrel who started the quarrel the mountain started the quarrel
who called home little tree How did he feel about it? He he didn't feel insulted about. Mountain called him. What makes of a year? Substitute a single word. A single word. The small creature in the poem. Spear means a bend. It means insult. Spear means a spear. Spear means a. It means insult. It means.
to write all these in your notebooks. So that's all for today. We will have a next class on Monday. Okay, thank you very much.